Well, hello there, humans, bees, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome to Look at the Map, you Muppet, starring me. Um, this is because I've played a lot in the last week, and I've come to realize that there is a huge section of the player base that thinks that that thing in the top left corner there, or in the top right corner, I've made it enormous, massive, so you can't miss it, that's the mini-map. They think that's the sun, and if you look into it, you'll go blind. So, they tend not to use it, and they just basically treat it like something that is an offense to all good players in World of Tanks Blitz. Then they call you a noob, uh, and then they go back to the garage and start again. You've met them, you know them, hell, you might be one of them. We've all been there before, let's talk about the map. The map is going to give you all the information you need to base your gameplay and have success. Much success, many map. Um, there is just such a monumental difference between a player that is situationally aware and a player that isn't. And the best way to be situationally aware is to use the map. Now, the simplest thing is counting cards. You can see that they've got one TD uh, that is still up over there. That is a Grill 15. I'm worried about where he is. I can't see him on the map. He's not spotted. Everything else is spotted on the map for the red team apart from him. So I'm assuming he's down in that bottom corner, but I'm not certain. The last thing I want to do is get hit for a bazillion hit points. So I'm very, very worried because the grill isn't spotted. These are the kinds of things that the map tells you. Um, counting tanks is the easiest one. You go one, two, three, four, five, and there's five tanks in the game. Everything is spotted. And there's the grill. The grill pops. So I'm like, happy days. I'm going down here. You can see the grill in the bottom left of the mini map that I have made as big as the sun in the top right corner, but it isn't the sun, so you won't get hurt looking into it. Yep, that's, that's basically it. And see how the Sheridan... He's on the mini-map right now and then disappears. I'm expecting him to come up behind me because on the mini-map, that is the last position he was heading for. And he's looking to farm damage off this tank here. So the Sheridan is down there letting his reload happen and then he's going to pop out. But I'm already expecting that, so I'm boosting away as soon as I get that kill. I just wanted to get back into cover. I am reading the map. Reading the map makes you situationally aware. Why? Because if you're looking at the map, you're responding to the actual game. You're not just going to a place you went before because you had a mastery there once. Um, you know what I mean? Like, this is what we do. We tend to go to the places where we've had success. We're animals. We're like, we went to that jungle tree over there before and pulled a root. That's where we're going again. But that's not how it works. The map and Blitz itself changes so much that you can't play like that. And I know because I've been playing an awful lot this week, particularly. And I know that in certain tanks, there are places I can go, like the 62A here, where it's kind of easy and I don't really have to do anything. The gun's incredible and the position is perfect. And if they don't come and push me off here, I'll just farm damage. But even then, if you're aware of where people are and what's going on and you see that there's tanks down in the town and that there's only three TDs and one of them's over here spotted and no one else has moved up and there's no way there's a TD on your right because he would have been spotted moving up and you're like, oh, hello. This is a good spot for Bushka. Suddenly you can start farming damage. That's because you're reading the map. How good is the gun on this tank? Not gonna lie. It also lets you make really good educated decisions. Like if there's no TDs down the back here, there is no reason why I can't just muscle up and push down here and then get an angle on this Progetto and stick him in an absolutely horrific pizza. And that's pretty much the game. It's all over from there. These are short, sharp moments and good bits of intuition where you swap experience, positions you know, and an ability to read the map. It's never more important than when you're in a light tank. Light tanks are the absolute bread of life when it comes to positional play and map reading. You can try to farm damage in a light tank, and that's great. And you can sometimes farm damage, and that's good. But often a light tank is more important because of its mobility than anything else. I miss a lot of shots here. Miss a lot of shots, not gonna lie. Missing a lot of shots, not great. Look at the map, right? I was happy to push to the top of this hill because I saw that there was an E50M and a 140, and only one of those tanks would spawn forward. One of the mediums would spawn forward, one of them would spawn behind. Someone always has that first place. And neither of them would be able to get up here at the same time, and only one of them would even be able to challenge me. This is a very, very quick tank. Now, I'm looking at the map, and my 183 is SOSing. Why the hell is he SOSing? He must 
be spotted, right? So I'm now looking down at that cap circle thinking, there's got to be a 50M there, and there's the 50M. The 183 needs help. And I'm going to go over here, and all I'm going to do is keep this 50M spotted, okay? What this does is it stops the 50M from farming damage. I'm not going to get a lot of damage out of it. I'm definitely not going to get myself a massive kill game here. But I am keeping a 183 in the game because there's no way in the world that that 50M is coming around the corner into a 183 while he is pre-spotted. He will get absolutely minced. And I'm worried that I'll get done as well. You can see me keeping an angle on that 183 over there. That's fine. This changes the game because I'm looking at the map and I'm listening to my teammates. This is one of the reasons why I hate teammates that just spam SOS nonstop the whole time. Like SOS, 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 SOS. It stops It stops the, the command from being valid. Now, I'm not only keeping this um, E50M busy now, I'm keeping the 183 busy as well. Every time he wants to pull out and do something, I've got such great spotting range, it's very difficult for him to do that. It's making me less effective, but think about the positives. We're keeping our biggest gun in the game, Okay, our 183 is in the game, and we're taking care of one of their mediums and one of their tanks. And I track him there, hopefully so that the 183 can get a shot at him. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And now we're in this kind of weird situation. If you're wondering why I just stopped dead, it's because I've been adjusting my controls, and I've been playing on NA and on my own Bushka account and on this account, and I've got the controls set up at different distances on all three of them, so I keep... Going like this, just keep going to press the button and my thumb's not getting it. That'll come again with uh, experience. I'm just waiting for this 50M to get back in his box there. Okay. This 183 should be writing me a Christmas card, but I'm now looking at the map and I'm going, I've seen their 183 once. The other 183. There's two 183s on the enemy team. Their Jaegeru is role-playing a heavy tank and... The other 183 is missing, but none of our heavies are able to pull back here. And I'm looking at this map and I'm going, what's going on? So what I want to do is I want to jet. I want to get all the way to the other side. Their 183 has gone unspotted. Their 50M is over here, but there's a chance if I can respot him, pull back, and then bail out, I can just leave him here and they, there he is. The other 183 is actually spotted and he has got a side shot angle. There we go. On on all the bad guys, on all the good guys. So we're going to move across and try and do something about that. And we have to look how hit point deficient my whole team is. And this is not a great thing to be doing, but it's like, if we don't do it, there is every chance that we're going to come second. So we try and stay hard in the cover and then we pop up here and we're expecting him. We want a track shot, track shot, you little beauty. That's what we're talking about. And then I put him between me and the other 183, who is on the rear part of the map. And we just start going for the track again. Stick him in there, go down low so that he can't get the gun down to get that shot into us. And finish the thing off. Ooh, this is the map, right? And look, the 50M's come over. He's too late. He's too late. There's two of them left. Like, is this doable for them if the 50M stays alive? I'm now willing perfectly willing to trade here like if i can get rid of the 50m there is no way that the 183 over there pulls this out right poke out says the yo whatever this is the joy of looking at the map and i heard the big sound of a hesh round doing business there and i'm now moving up putting more pressure on this is what you love about blitz it can be a chess match but so many of you not probably not people who watch this channel, but so many of the people who play the game, they don't work like this. They just look at the tank in front of them. And it's such an easy thing to do. It is really such an easy thing to do. All it takes is to look up at the minimap and you will have just the most... Imp if you want to get 5% better, 10% better on your win rate, week in, week out, and... Learn to read this minimap, and you will be just stunned. It. I'll show you one more game. This is uh, a game I had today. See this you again, IS4? He's someone who was screaming about 
just doesn't know what he's doing. Um, this is something I do all the time. If I'm in a tank like this, it's got really good HE for a medium. Um, I'm not going to try and get damage in here. I just want to track the WZ or whoever comes across. You're going to see. Track him. And... Boom. So, he took 750 damage there. <laughs> I could have done more than 350 or something on my own. I would have got that shed easily. But, as it is... That's a great way of starting the game off on mines. If you can HE someone in the tracks and stop them, awesome. Now, the FV4202 is a tank I love. I love it because of Hesh. I'm not in good form yet. I'm still just rounding into form after being a long while out in layoffs. I've got to get my controls working, and I've also really got to get my aim back and my rhythm back. But still, the 4202 is a tank I've driven a lot of in the past. Look at this position. I'm able to take this position because they've got three TDs. I'm pretty sure their TDs are all going to be at the back. They've got one medium on the top and another medium that's spotted on the hill itself. That means that I've pretty much got a mark on where every single tank in the enemy team is right now. That's as long as their TDs aren't doing something crazy like going through cap circle and if they want to, good for them. Like that's, that's a huge benefit for me. So what we're going to do is methodically work our way down this one line, okay? We're just going to do it one step at a time. We're going to make sure that we don't give the TDs in spawn a good shot on us. And we're just going to work our way all down this one line and grind the enemy team into dust. And I wanted to make sure I had a good game here because that IS-4 was a complete wanker in the game previously and carried on like a pork chop, as we know they're bound to do. I'm also making use of camo. You can obviously see that I'm putting that tree between me and the guy up there. And that means I've got two bushes between me and the target. And I am so far back from the target that they're not going to get any shots in at all. Oh, hello. Because I'm forward, that spots the uh, 140 as he rolls up onto that hill. Great position this. Now, we're actually worried about tanks that are in the spawn here. I see the grill is now rolling onto that WZ, so the time has come to move forward. We've got a little bit more leeway now that the Object 140 is down. Their TD still can't spot us. I'm worried about getting spotted from there. I'm now going to just move up next to the corpse of the 140 and look into spawn. And just see if anyone is over there. Ooh, one in there. Oh, hello. You may well have hit someone. <laughs> there is a 183 there. But again, he's so far back, 272 meters with cover between me and him, that he just can't spot me. They're slowly getting attrited on the top of the hill. That WZ is gone. He wasn't capable of taking advantage of that position because we put ourselves in a spot that really applied pressure and an angle to him. There's three TDs in that spawn, as sure as sure can be. And so we now only have to worry about one other tank apart from these TDs, and that's the 57 Heavy who's running the top of the hill and is the last heavy that have got left standing on top. And all these guys have been vampiring off his hit points and that's going to change very, very shortly. He is in severe distress and I'm going to make that a lot worse by leaning on him with a little bit of hash. <laughs> the TDs can't get a shot at me from spawn. They just can't touch me. We've moved up all the way along this drain line and uh, this one line and... It's been fantastic. Now, mate, the IS-4 has done absolutely nothing. And I make sure I stop here and just give him a little shh, IS-4. Because I'm nothing if not a 12-year-old boy. Um, and this has been a good good game by our heavies, too. Our heavies have done good stuff. Hesh sets the uh, grille on fire. There's the 183. He's spotted. 4K damage. Bunch of tanks getting wrecked. Um, we ruined the WZ on his push for the hill. Just, will also mention, if I had been that WZ, I would have tried to get round to the other side of the hill so that I could get a better overlook. But regardless, this is what I talk about. The map, the map, the map. Make a best guess, but base it on fact. Tell the IS-4 he's welcome, and then move along and pump your chest. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves. Stay safe on the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now.